Allen. And new at five, who holds the purse strings in your house? And who is smarter financially, men or women? Our money saver, Suzanne McCarroll, says one group clearly stood out in a recent survey. And Suzanne, we know the other group is simply not going to believe you. Yeah, that's right. You know, statistically, women typically outlive men. So it's a good thing that women are managing their money well for the long haul. No, I can't have my name up there. Everyone I owe money to thinks I live in Seattle. There are many TV comedies featuring the money woes of women. They draw a quick laugh, but in reality, women may be having the last laugh financially. She's my sugar mama. Yeah. Phil and Kathy are both financial advisors, but in their marriage, one is thought to be the leading money manager. For our purposes, it's definitely Kathy. And Kathy may not be unique. According to a new study from Experian, women earn 23% less than men, but they have a higher credit score and carry less credit card debt. Who spends more money? Um, me. Who's the shopper? Uh, me. <laughs> the average man carries $26,000 in debt from credit cards, personal loans, and auto loans. That's compared to just $25,000 for a woman. And men take out larger home mortgages than women, 187000 for a man versus 178000 for a woman. So why the difference? I think, you know, women, when you're lost, you're willing to pull over and ask someone who knows um, the way to go. And, and, and I really do find that to be true in financial planning. So Two Broke Girls is a funny title for a show, but it seems two financially astute females might be more accurate. We're also told that women are quicker to admit their financial mistakes than men. So, Jim, if you don't believe this study and you don't agree, do not call me at home tonight. <laughs> okay, Suzanne. Uh, it's a promise. Thanks very much.